Hello, we're creating a little video here to help out with course selections. Uh, at the beginning and the end of the video, we're going to be posting the class of 2022 login. Underneath the classwork section, there are some other videos on how to get onto Blueprint and some useful course information if you're looking at uh, helping yourself out for course selections. There's a course description book there and a list of all the courses that are running next year. This is course selections for the year 2021-22. So if you're currently in grade 11 going into grade 12 or you're coming back for a fifth year, the instructions that we're gonna list here are extremely important, but please make an appointment with guidance if you have any questions. We need to start looking backwards. So you need to look, take, start taking a look at what you might be doing after high school. I know this might be a tough decision because we're still not sure, but you wanna make sure you're keeping all options open. This sheet is extremely important because it has a lot of useful websites. And again, making a guidance appointment could be useful to you. If I am applying to college, they're gonna take a look at your grade 11 and 12 marks, doesn't matter which level that you're taking them, and they're gonna use those averages for programs that you might be applying to. So if I'm applying to certain programs which have certain prerequisites, they're gonna be looking at those prerequisites for program. So if I'm going into some of the health fields such as nursing, they're gonna be looking at my math, my sciences, and my English mark. If I'm looking at a university career, they're gonna take your six courses that you need in order to apply to university. They all have to be grade 12, and they have to be university or university level courses. An example is English. The fourth the character is a four, that represents, represents the grade level, that stands for grade 12, and the fifth character is a U. So it must be a U or M to apply to university. Prerequisites are required for programs. And again, the more health science fields, the more math type fields, the more specific the prerequisites are for those programs. So it's important that you check out the websites on this page make sure that you have the right courses in order to get into those programs. The five other courses are really related to program and things that you might be interested in taking. Notice I've kind of three courses up here. The gym does not count because it's an open level credit. So a lot of students make the mistake by choosing gym, but you can't use it to apply to university because it is an open level course. However, you can use it in some of the college programs because they look at maybe in some cases all your grade 11 to 12 marks. Co-op does not count because it's an open level credit. We also have students who often choose uh, the sociology psychology course. It is a grade 11 course. It is a university level course, but it's grade 11, so it does not count. So you must check that you have six. They are grade 12, and they're U or M as the fifth character with prerequisites for programs. So the only mandatory course you need for grade 12 is English, and what level you take is really based on what course you've taken in grade 11. So if you've taken the university level grade um, level English, then you're allowed to take the grade 12 level English. If you've taken the university grade level English, you're allowed to take the grade 12 college level English. But these pathways are really now self-defined by what you've taken in grade 11. So you wanna make sure you're taking the right courses. If you're up to date in your credit count, you'll need five other credits, but some students might choose seven or eight total credits in order to fill out their school year but you need six total if you have 24 credits to date. If in order to take the sciences at the university level, I must have university grade 11 biology in order to take grade 12 university level biology. And the same thing for chemistry and physics. At the college level, biology only runs once and it runs in grade 11. A grade 12 student can take grade 11 biology. And some students who have been, who are in grade 12 have already taken chemistry and physics because they were encouraged to do so in grade 11 so that those marks show up when they apply to college. But they only run once at the college level. At the university level, they run twice. So you have to have the grade 11 in order to take the grade 12. The leadership course is identified as the IDC 4U1 course. is the course that Mr. Nicholson teaches. It's a lot of the, the school support classroom stuff that people do and the activities that go on around, the, the video and everything else it shows that we run at Open House. And co-op is GLN 4OD. So I have a maximum of six credits if I have 24 credits in the bank. You are allowed to take a spare in grade 12. That's up to you and your family. If you are signing up and you have six and you want repertoire, repertoire is an extra credit. So it is AMR 3MC for the grade 12 level. So in total, you're gonna to have six courses plus two alternatives. So you're gonna choose eight you may choose eight and then another two, so 10, but make sure you have six courses chosen plus two alternate credits.
Any questions, please make an appointment with guidance.